One of the most important features to add to your server, especially if you are a study community or a co-working community admin, is the Pomodoro timers. So now that we have Leo on our server, you will be able to see this quick welcome message that Leo sent to your server. You can type help for more help with the comments. You can type config info in order to get the configuration info in the configuration panel. You can learn more clicking here. It's a Notion page that we created with a more in-depth tutorial than what we can show on YouTube. And of course, you can join our support server using the following link. Now that we have Leo on the server, I'm going to quickly configure the Pomodoro timers. So let's assume we have the following voice channels. And many servers, mine included, actually use the voice channels as study rooms. So if we move to my main server, you will see over here that we have this study room, for example. And in this study room, we have five people. These five people are actually studying right now. And thanks to Leo, they are able to see their stats, create to-do list, reminders, and a lot of different things. But in this video, we are going to specifically configure the Pomodoro timers. So the first step in order to actually configure the Pomodoro timers is to configure the category and everything you need around the Pomodoro timers, the framework itself. So we are going to tell the bot where we want the Pomodoro timers, to which room we want to assign a Pomodoro timer, and what is the title of the room that we want to show. So let's quickly do it. The first and most important command to run using Leo is the configuration. You want to configure the admins, the moderators, and a lot of different things that are related to your team using the configuration, the config command. So let's do it quickly. Config. You will be able to see the following message that is going to show you a lot of different things. I'm going to go one by one in a different video, but in this video, I'm going to specifically show you the Pomodoro related topics. So let's go to Pomodoro. Page three. As you can see, you have study tracking in page three and you have Pomodoro channel, which is right now known and we need to configure it. In order to configure the Pomodoro channel, which is the channel that the bot Leo is going to send all the Pomodoro timers to, we are going to copy this and we are going to type config paste for the Pomodoro channels. And then we are going to paste the ID of the text channel we want Leo to send the Pomodoro timers to. In order to fetch an ID of any, anything on Discord, you will have to right click and copy the ID. If you don't see copy ID, it means your advanced settings is off. In order to turn it on, you just need to use the following settings. You want to scroll down, you want to go to advanced and make sure developer mode is turned on. Once it is turned on, you will be able to see copy ID in anything you click. Users names, bots, voice channels, text channels, it will all have ID. And the ID is what you are going to use when you are going to configure the settings of Leo. So I want the following channel. Let's create quickly a text channel called Pomodoro. I want the following text channel to be the Pomodoro channel of Leo. So I'm going to type config Pomodoro channel and then I'm going to paste the ID I just copied of this text channel. Once I'm going to press enter, Leo is going to accept the fetched ID and it's going to now send all of the future Pomodoro timers to this specific channel. In order to assign a Pomodoro timer to any voice channel you want, you're just going to connect to a voice channel. And once you are connected, while you are actually connected, you can type exclamation mark, which is the prefix of the bot, Pomodoro. And then you're going to tell Leo which intervals of study or work and break you want. For example, I want to study for 60 minutes and then I want to take a break for 10 minutes. I'm going to type 60 comma 10. Enter. Now, Leo is going to connect to this voice channel. He's going to send notifications every time it's break or study or working time. And it is also going to change the voice channel names based on the time remaining for the co-working. Now, all of the people that are going to connect to this channel are going to be able to either do exclamation mark timer and see how much time left using the following interface, or they can just go to the Pomodoro channel and they will be able to see and constantly editing and updating timer with the people and their tasks. 
The next thing to do is actually allow your users to tell other users what they are working on. For example, as you can see here, I'm the only person that is actually connected to the room and there is one hour left and it's focus time. I want to tell the people in the room what I'm working on right now. So in order to do it, I'm going to go to the whatever uh, command text channel you have in your server. I don't because it's a server I just created. And I'm going to type now video because I'm taking a video right now. Enter. Now Leo is going to know that I'm working on the video right now. And the rest of the users, as you can see here, if I'm going to, let's say I'm disconnecting, connecting, and then type in it again. And timer. Everyone is going to see that I'm working on a video, as you can see from the following timer that is going to load right now. So me, my picture, how much time I was working in this channel and working on a video. For more people, you're going to see more and more pictures of different users with what they are working on right now. So creating Pomodoro timers using Leo is pretty straightforward. However, if you want to further configure the room that you just created, you can use the following settings. Name, channel name, threshold, text, and in the future we will also be add a bit more configuration settings. How do you use the following configuration settings? It's pretty straightforward. Again, make sure to copy the ID of the Pomodoro room that you want to actually change. And let's assume I don't like the timer that is automatically changed in the voice channel room, which is the default that Leo actually use when it comes to the Pomodoro timer. I want to remove the timer and I want to just type the name or I want to have only a timer in my voice title. So let's do it right now. I'm going to type Pomodoro. Then I'm going to paste the ID that we are referring to. And then I'm going to use the following, the following tags. Tags are just a way where you notify the bot that you want specifically to modify something specific under the command. For example, the name tag is going to change something under the name of the Pomodoro. The channel name tag is going to change something under the Pomodoro voice channel name. The threshold setting is actually going to allow the admins to choose how many times the user can be actually idle until the bot kicks him out of the room. And the text is just going to allow the admins to choose a different Pomodoro channel specifically for this room. For example, if you have a different community inside a server or donors, for example, supporters that you want to dedicate a specific Pomodoro timer, you can actually send this specific timer to a different room. So I want to change this name. I don't like the 55 minutes, the time left and the name of the voice channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap, as I said, Pomodoro, the ID, then I'm going to use this tag and then I'm just going to type the name I want to change. So it's going to be example. And if I'm going to use this, the voice channel is going to change in the next five minutes to only example. You will notice that Discord isn't allowing any bot to actually change the voice channel name more than once in five minutes. So even if you change it, it might take a few minutes to actually update. So I hope this video helped you to actually understand how to install Pomodoro timers to your server. It's pretty straightforward, but it might be a bit more complex when it comes to actually configure the Pomodoro channel itself. So if you need any help, don't hesitate to join the support server in the link below and just ask us questions in the following channels. You can go to the server itself and then you will see that we have here a contact the team and also study line support. So if you find this video beneficial, make sure to like it down below and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.